And next up from HEC Paris, we have Team Fit Genie. A big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. In a world that never stops moving, our health often takes a back seat. Meet Rachel and Ross, two individuals navigating the challenges of a hectic lifestyle. This is Rachel. She's conscious of her calorie intake but struggles to accurately track it. Today, she's attempting to log her homemade meal on a generic app, but the complexities of entering data make the process frustrating. And here's Ross. He's committed to his fitness goals but finds it challenging to discover a workout plan tailored to his body type. Today, he's scrolling through a fitness app, but the generic plans offered don't consider his unique needs. The current healthcare apps, although abundant, fall short in addressing their unique needs. Generic nutrition apps lack the simplicity needed to accurately track Rachel's meals, leading to frustration and ultimately, abandonment. Meanwhile, Ross has struggled to find a personalized workout plan, considering his body type and goals, adds to the complexity, leading to decreased motivation and engagement. As time passes, both Rachel and Ross find themselves losing interest, contributing to the common trend of people abandoning health apps. Imagine a world where Rachel and Ross can use a wellness app that simplifies their health journey, offers accurate insights, and keeps them motivated. Introducing Fijini. So, hello and welcome to the product presentation of fitgenie.ai. Um, so, when we started talking about our experience and our team with the current fitness and health tracker apps, we very quickly realized that all of us were facing the same three problems compared to Rachel and Ross, for example. First of all, we all face difficulties when inputting our calorie and fitness data into the apps, namely usage complexity. Second of all, we struggle with the accuracy of tracking our calories, especially when we don't have our kitchen scale at hand or when we were eating outside at a restaurant or a friend's place and we weren't really sure what was in our meal that we were consuming, so we couldn't really track our progress here. Thirdly, we also have a very big need for more personalized solution because there was a lack of suggestion when running out of ideas on what to eat or how to work out to reach our own fitness goals. And then we, of course, wanted to understand, is this a problem that only the five of us were running into? And that's why we did a survey among 100 participants of the HEC MBA. And as you can see with the numbers, they all face similar problems. 75% agreed that they face usage complexity while using fitness apps. 65% agreed that they struggle with the accuracy of tracking. And 50% saw a very strong need for a more personalized solution. And this is why we created fitgenie.ai your personalized fitness and health tracker app. Um, our goal is to redefining the wellness industry by creating an easy to use interface, a personalized user experience, an AI powered chatbot and AI based food and workout recommendation so you can achieve your personal fitness goals. And to give you an overview on how our product looks like, we have created a short video that I will guide you through. if we fix the technical problems. So, as soon as you sign into the app, you can get an overview of the calories you have to eat per day, the workout minutes you have to do, and the water you have to intake. Below, you see a meal breakdown into breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And then you can see your workouts per day. At the bottom, you see a very big plus sign, where you can very easily add a workout, add something by text, or add your meal by a photo. For example, if I just created this very delicious pasta meal, I want to know how many calories that I just consume. I take a picture of it and the AI understands what food it is and how much it weighs. So I can see how much calories I have and if, if necessary, added additional ingredients or not. Press on confirm and very easily have my calories in my daily overview and also as a lunch in the overview. <clears throat> then at the bottom right corner, you see a chat function. And here you can be very, very personalized, interact with the AI. For example, if I tell the AI that I just consumed this very delicious pasta, the AI might see in my calories, oh, you're gonna be a little bit overboard here, so you might have to work out more today. If I agree with the AI, it just adds 30 minutes to my, to my workouts today. So it just went up from 30 to 90 minutes. If I then want to know, okay, what can I have for dinner? So this not happens again, because I don't wanna work out two hours today. 
I can very easily ask the AI. It comes up with different solutions, different meals that I can then very easily see the recipe and create for my dinner. Of course, we are aware that there are already very good competitors on the markets. Myself, I already used my fitness ball for quite a while before I jumped off. Lose it, open food facts, ask and diet. They all have very good products already. But we are convinced that by combining a very high level of user friendliness and very precise tracking precision, we create a unique selling proposition in the market that not only allows us to attract the customers, but also keep them engaged. And as I just said, those are the two most important things when it comes to fitness apps, in our opinion. Getting the customer on the app and then keeping them engaged. For getting the customer on the app, we uh, introduced a very new feature on the market that has no app uh, out there yet, which is the photo-based calorie intake. So you can say goodbye to your kitchen scale, you can eat at a restaurant, still uh, keep track of your calories, or eat at a friend's place and know what you're eating. Then to keep the customer engaged, keep them on the app and keep us delivering more data so it gets even more personalized, we have multiple features. Namely, the AI-powered recipe suggestions aligned with your calorie plan. Or a personalized workout suggestion based on your meal history, as you just saw in the video. If I eat too much, the AI knows. I can't hide from the AI. So it knows that I have to work out more today. And then, of course, to keep them on the app, we have community engagement. So you can share your progress with your friends and families at challenges, have a leaderboard because everybody wants to be the number one among their friends. So you keep on using the app. And finally, we have automated grocery and restaurant recommendations that let you eat the food you really like and still meet your fitness goals. So you can have delicious meals and still be fit. Now, speaking about the technology, before committing a huge investment in time and money, of course, we want to properly test our solution. And for that, we're planning on leveraging on publicly existing technologies. For workout, we're going to use GPT-4. For meal preparation, we are going to leverage on IBM's Chef Watson, which is a really good meal prep solution. And for food recognition, we can use Google's Brain TensorFlow Food One-on-One -on -one model, which is already working. Of course, all of these today have their challenges to achieve our ideal, but for, the, for those solutions, we have a step-by-step -step plan. So our first step on building, on, on building this product, it's uh, focused on the accuracy of the image recognition, which is our main customer engagement driver. So we need to do that really, really well. And then a simplified UX. So once that is properly done, we can move forward on the next step on the next building block, which will be uh, in meal preparation suggestion and work and workout suggestion, and also integrated with fitness de devices. So the user has a complete uh, experience and the whole ecosystem on their hands. Once the product and its features is properly developed, then we can go into phase three, where we will polish the community engagement we, we just talked about and then uh, develop our business plan. Which business plan? Well, since we know all the fitness uh, taste that our customer has and their habits, what they like, what they don't like, we can do advertisement. For example, we know you're about to have a good meal. We know what you like, so we can go and suggest you a good restaurant near that it's currently open, or from the other side, through click and collect. We know that we have a meal preparation tool which will suggest you a new recipe that you will like, you will probably try to do it, so, and then we can tell you, okay, you can buy this from your near supermarket through our app also. With this, we plan to have a first year with a huge investment, which then when we polish and we have our products in full, we will have a first profitable year which is our year two, and then on year three, we will finally be able to be to break even. Yeah. So that's Fit Genie, your all-powerful advisor, fitness. Thank you.